Hello and welcome back to the last game between Pike and Vodka. Pike this time changing his color from the teal to the blue. Interesting to see. Not sure if that's a psychological uh, factor, or trick or whatever. But we have a Hans War, and the ironic thing about the Hans War is, I think, as far as I remember, when they played the first uh, set uh, of games, it was actually um, tied on game 5. And the other thing, I like this me too, because it was a Hans War in the former game 5, which then had to be replayed, as we are uh, seeing here. Uh, scout fight early, and I think Pike has the advantage. Let's see, this could be close. Oh, Vodka winning the scout fight, that's not good for Pike here. And let's see what they're saying. Finally, yeah, it happened a few times before to him. But he didn't win the scout fight, but I'm gonna go for Pike's point of view. What can he see? He doesn't see too much of a space. He can see the gold. He can see the two boars. That's very important for him. Uh, got one relic inside his walls, but almost no resources outside. That's good for Pike. Those berries won't really uh, interest him. And inside his base, he can see the berries, the main stone. He should use the sheep to scout a little bit more. Um, he will send a few villagers to go for um, the wood line later on here and, and collect the uh, sheep, I think. Um, does he see the sheep in the back? Nobody's sending sheep right now to, to see this. Gonna send a few villagers later on. And the base for Pike, really good because a little of space to boom, a lot of wood here. Uh, second stone and main stone safe in the back. Second gold safe in the back, main gold safe in the back. Only third gold to the front outside here. But uh, won't really be the problem. Let's go uh, more for the map here. We have an extra gold, an extra stone, and another extra gold on the right hand side of the map. A few relics here one, two, three, four, and like it's not really a row, but like a curve. Mm, last relic we've seen in the walls from Pike here. On the left hand side of the map, we have Pike against Vodka. Uh, Vodka's map, let's see what I'm talking about. Can't find my res. Uh, how many res do you need, OMG? I'm noob, <laughs> so no problem. 5 TC's OP, and they're talking a little bit. Um, not sure if they're friends or just uh, psychological. Oh, Pike, interesting. Sending the villagers back instead of getting a second. Oh, he's putting a second lumber camp here. I don't like this. He should have sent like. Villagers and then put a lumber camp here. I would, preferred, would have preferred to see this. But Pike deciding to go with the villagers and take one deer, then go back. Maybe you should have gone with more villagers to take deer and then uh, to gold. But Pike up to feudal age first. Vodka one more villager and clicking up as well. That's roughly 25 seconds, that's okay. Effectively both at the same time. Uh, killing two sheep, probably not intentionally happening, but uh, whatever. Vodka space. Mm, second stone, forward. Main stone, a little bit forward, it's on the front, but uh, okay-ish. Barracks coming up for him. Trying to get the deer in, I think they, they were outside probably, or maybe one inside. Mm, pretty late on the deer actually. Uh, second gold, inside his base, in the back. Main gold, very safe in the back, a little bit trapped in the wood, but that's okay. And third gold, also safe in the back, so actually quite fair when it comes to the maps here. Pike's map maybe a little bit better in my opinion, but uh, Vodka should be fine. We see Arch Range and Blacksmith for Vodka, we see Market and Blacksmith for Pike, interesting. Does not want to engage in Castle Age. Uh, he said 5 TC's OP, OP, maybe he's gonna go for the TC's. Mold is off a little bit. And uh, boom behind because he's got a really good map for booming and... It's hard to go through the stone walls. Hans, don't get fortified walls, but who cares, he will be able to defend the siege workshops. And as far as I know, Hans don't get redemption. Mm, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Manganals are pretty, pretty strong in uh, defending bases in a Hans war. So let's see, both players up to Castle Age now, and uh, same amount of villagers. So Vodka actually lost a little bit of time here, but won't really matter. I'm not sure what this was. Oh, um, fight the wolf and then letting the corpse disappear with the palisade. We see siege workshop coming up forward. Of course, Pike cannot see this unless he's palisade scouting, and he could do that. Um, Vodka scouting, let's see. He can see the four relics, he can see one extra gold, hasn't seen the others, but uh, he won't really care for now. Manganel coming out immediately, and a few cavalry just being produced, no fletching done. Pike going for wheelbarrow, two TCs, one, yeah, with the berry village, uh, with the deer villagers uh, building the TC here, and one on the stone. Now looks like he wants to get a castle up for defense purposes, or maybe just have stone to, uh, to put some walls up. Manganel is out now, and the question is where is uh, uh, Vodka going to attack? He's going for the walls, two Manganels. Mm, Pike 
Stonewalling immediately, yeah, as expected. He's got the stone and TC number 4 coming up already before the 19 minute mark uh, being started even. Very good for him. Vodka, um, Monastery up, first relic is in, he's gonna get uh, the 4 relics at least. Double mining camp here, interesting, maybe should have trapped 3 or 4 villagers inside, we've seen that before. But it's okay, Fletching coming in now and no more TCs because he's going full aggressive. Uh, 3 mangonels, I think Pike needs to go, mangonels immediately, siege workshop is up for him, very good. 20 minute mark, 4 TCs up and running, probably... Yeah, maybe a little idle time, but it doesn't really matter. And now only the marketing blacksmiths are a weak point for Pike. But one Manganel there, he just needs to make sure that he's uh, keeping that one. He's got the villagers around, so he can repair it if he wants to. The market though will go down really fast. Pike doing Loom and Town Watch. And he's gonna try and... What is he going for? Cav Archers, but they're going away. Um, Pike with 400 stone for the 50 should have the resources to go up to, uh, to get a castle up quite soon, but a little bit uh, too late because the market is down. And now the Cav Archers might just run in. That would be the best idea for, for Pike, actually, for Vodka, actually. Because uh, don't mind the TC, there's not too many villagers inside. Instead, go in and harass Pike's eco. He's got 15 more villagers, and Vodka really needs to catch up here. Pike still producing villagers, got two mangonels out, it's gonna be the mangonel fight here. Let's see who is gonna win this one, both are moving the man uh, mangonels. Blacksmith is gone as well, and now this is really open. Castle coming up for Pike though, and I think Vodka should be able to see this, uh, sending the car archers now, it's too late in my opinion. Has to go back, he knows about the castle. Uh, let's see, where he's trying to go in now, attacking the TC still and the farms here, doesn't really matter. Not only now he's sending the, the cab archers and it's too late, and uh, Pike is moving the villagers already. The castle will be up and the cab archers are trapped between two TCs and the castle here. That was not a good move for Vodka, that was too late. Pike. For now, we'll be able to defend, still got 20 more villagers even, Blacksmith's coming up for him again. And he's gonna fix his eco. I don't like this, uh, just ungarrisoning the villagers, that's not good. Send them back to work, uh, you can do that when you garrison the villagers in the castle. And then they're going wherever they went before, like stone, wood, whatever. And uh, Pike revolving here, three mangonels, oh, good hit with the uh, on the cav archers. Knights even in play for vodka, but... Uh, I don't know if they're gonna help him too much. And one mangonel down for Vodka. Let's see Pike. Uh, not losing one yet. Vodka resources actually looking not bad. Has he got more TCs or did he sell stone? He's going for two more new TCs now. And this is open. Almost 70. Yep, yeah, it's gone. The knights are moving in. A few idle villagers. Mangonel fights now. That's two for two. And better end for, for Vodka here, actually. Very nice. Pike's still booming, almost 80 villagers, and while Vodka will be able to click up to Imperage quite soon, Pike won't need to wait for too long. He is going with Tarkins right now, uh, that's the only thing he can do, end of siege of course. Mm, Mangana is hitting the TC on the left hand side, let's see if Pike's actually going to defend it. Also going for his uh, gold in the back here. Little outpost because he didn't see the back of his base, but he won't find anything there. And the Tarkins, no upgrades yet, but against Siege they're very good and they can compete with the Knights uh, if they're massed. Um, Pike now going out of the few villages, or no, just walling. Would have loved to see him go out and try to find a few resources and get a few villages safe. Um, the Tarkins moving in against the Cavarches, against the Knights. And I think the Manganels will go down really fast. Pike at the same time is repairing his TC here. Yeah, that's a few destroyed Manganels. What kept him pure age, but losing those Mangs and also his army, that's not good for him. Pike now even with more army. Not close to Imperial Age, but with a lot of villages, 86, 88, almost 50% more villages. Vodka up to Imperial Age, what is he preparing? More archer ranges, we're gonna see the heavy cover archers for him. Wheelbarrow coming up now. And village account for Vodka um, being uh, co putting pressure constantly with 61, 62 now, actually not bad. And now more cav archers being produced, but the Tarkans on the forward buildings, there's two stables for Vodka. And for now he won't be able to defend those. Let's see, he's going out the cav archers, that's good. Plus two, not done. I think that's the next thing he should go. Yeah, boat canary coming in. And the Tarkans have to go back because only two Pyrrhus armor, that's not gonna be enough against the cav archers. University also coming up, wants to get ballistics. And we see four relics now inside, while uh, Pike is starting to scout. We have the Imperial Age for Vodka, the castle is coming up, and what is he doing now? He doesn't have too many resources, I think he should go past him. Tactics and Bracer. 
What is he doing first? Two men are actually coming in as the first upgrade. And Pike is on the way to Imperial Age. Uh, yeah, with 106 villagers almost fully boomed. That's expected. Blacksmith coming up. A second one actually. He wants to get a lot of upgrades now in a very short time. Uh, and that's helpful for him. And while Vodka is trying to go in again, Pike is getting a second siege workshop. Monastery is up as well. I'm not sure why. And this is not walled yet, but Pike is double walling now. And I think Vodka will have a hard time to break in because uh, it's like a fortress here in the castle. A few walls. I think a second uh, piece of stone wall would be good. And uh, castle is up for Vodka. Vodka will go for traps for sure. Yep, there we go. Uh, did he do plus three? Not yet. And I think not parts and tactics either. Now gate coming up and barracks. Not sure why. Does he want to go helps? Pike is doing pikemen and the lead skirmisher. So he's gonna skip the gold units for now. And just go trash and probably add siege to that. It's a very good idea in my opinion. He's going rams. It's very important against the uh, cav archers. And then skirmishes and helps are really, really strong in, in such fights when you don't have too much gold. Imperial Age also done for Pike now. What is he doing? Leather Archer Armor Elite Skirmish being uh, researched already. Bracer coming in for him. And a lot of Archer Rangers and Barracks coming up as well. And uh, all over the place. 126 villagers all inside that little uh, eco space here. Uh, that's good for him. A few Tarkins still out. I think he's is he patrolling. Oh, he wants to, to see Vodka go for the extra resources maybe. Mm, for now, traps out and hitting the castle. The rams are down for Pike. He's uh, only researching Catram now. Going for three more, but it might be too late. The castle is on pretty low HP already. Pike repairing. A few lead skirmishers coming forward. Another ram is out, and uh, uh, he. Well, Podka is, Vodka is putting trap away again. Uh, ram will go down, and lead skirmishers mm, have to move back because the knight's just too strong against them. Halberdy is done for Vodka here. Pike resources looking okay. Vodka not bad either, and he's doing a lot of helps. Another castle coming up forward. Pike leather archer armor. I think it will come down to the sea trams here for Pike because uh, sea tram very important upgrade, of course, quite uh, costly. But he's saving up this uh, 1k food, and I think he will click sea tram very soon. The sea trams and lead skirmishers, and then a few helps. It's a pikeman right now in the back. He should be fine. Mm, castle. Let's see if it's going up. A few knights on the rams. This ram might go down, but the other one looks like the castle. If it's going up, then it's going to be on very low HP. Vodka not finishing the castle, 62%. And Pike already pushing back here in this castle. Very ambitious, but not the right decision, uh, it seems. Because Vodka not with enough military units. And there's a big difference here in 13 military units for Vodka. Pike is on 49. Of course, he can spam all day long. Going for guilds right now, not researching sea tram yet. And he's got enough stone for another castle, going for traps now. I think the sea tram should come in any time, deciding against it. Chemistry thumb rings, scale mail armor. So he skips the sea traps for now. He knows what guy doesn't have uh, them, so he doesn't really care. I'm not going for the buildings, a lot of fleet skirmishes here. And uh, going with his own castle in, uh, forward, mm, kind of protecting this gold. Trap is out, more rams uh, being created. And Pike is housed in 200 population. Got 1k score lead. Uh, really looking good for him. And uh, yeah, it's. I think it's just the map that is, is helping him a lot. He's uh, playing the smart, of course, but uh, without a good map, without all the goals in the back, he couldn't have done this. And what guy had a really hard time here to go in. He tried his best. The question is, can he move it uh, to late Imperial Age? Uh, they're both, uh, both fully boomed. What guy's on 12 villages, so it's actually not looking bad for him. But resources still low, and he still does not have heavy cav archers. Maybe he's gonna skip them. I think he should add hussars and uh, uh, maybe his own sea trams, cap trams, and researching it yet. Mm, the castle might go down. The trap is still there, a few rams in the front. Lead skirmish of war here on the Hans War. Squires coming in for Pike. 140 villagers for Pike. That's so much. You might need to uh, kill a few villagers later on to have more army out. Vodka for now being able to defend here, but he's gonna lose the. Uh, the castle, uh, on the other hand, the trap uh, went down, and Vodka got his own trap out to defend. Capron now coming in for Vodka. And Pike, let's see, very low in food. He's investing a lot into elite skirmishes, it seems. Uh, he should have more food in the bank, because still no siege trim coming up for him. It's still the cap rams here. Another trap coming out is gonna have three here, and still housed in 200 population. Mm, more stables being uh, put up now by Pike. 
I'm not sure it's the first stables he's putting up actually, my, my fault. Ballistics coming in, scale barring armor, forging, so he wants to go uh, most likely Hussars because uh, it's not so much gold that he has in, in the bank now. And TC on the extra gold and uh, mining camp on the stone mine and gold mine. Very interesting, also lumber camp coming up for Pike. So he's expanding his eco now while he's fighting uh, on the front here. Mangonel out for uh, Vodka, trying to destroy the ram. Actually successful, but the Mangonel might go down as well. Yeah, elite skirmishers are able to kill Mangonels uh, if you wait long enough. And a lot of siege from Pike here. Vodka going for siege rams first, actually. Didn't expect this. I thought Pike would go siege rams first. Maybe f did he forget, ab forget about it or does he just want to have a lot of military units out first? And he's going for traps right now, so that's that's fine for him. And he is going back. I'm not sure why. I think he should engage this uh, with the rams here. Maybe he saw a lot of rams here for Vodka as well. Vodka doing siege ram and cavalier now. Mm, interesting that he got the resources to do that. Of course, he's got the golds in the bag as well. And he is now on a similar village number. Mm, Pike maybe waited a little bit too long. Still in a score lead, but uh, it can go either way now, and the siege ram might help uh, Vodka a lot. On the other hand, if that was the, C in the, uh, the siege workshop that siege ram was being researched in, no. Uh, not sure what happened because not sh not s it's not shown anymore. The siege ram upgrade for, for Vodka is gonna have it. Northern Pike, siege rams first. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe I'm, did I miss look somehow? So Vodka is getting the siege ram, but Pike as well. And we are gonna have the fully upgraded siege for Hans here. Uh, do Hans get siege engineers? I forgot about it. Uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, more stables coming on the right hand side, a few more farms. And really nice expanding here from, from Pike. Uh, there's the big fight with the siege rams and elite skirmishers. Let's see, he's gonna have more units out. Pike has more military units uh, on the field. Uh, and if you like Kev moving in, but Cavalier being produced for Pike at the same time, Husbandry coming in for Vodka, uh, no, sorry, for Vodka, uh, Husbandry coming in as well, and looks like Vodka has more siege rams right now, Pike with only three left, Vodka got six, now five, and Elite Skirmishers and Cavalier in the back, Vodka might even be able to go Paladin if he's gonna wait a little bit longer, if he can hold as long. Uh, he lost the castle though, that's a big uh, minus for him. And Bloodline's coming in for what can now masonry for Pike. Very important upgrade in late Imperial Age. Siege workshops being put up. Both players are housed on 200 population. That's amazing. We have a really, really good post Imperial Age war now. And we're gonna see big fights here. Nobody going for any th sort of raiding. Siege workshop coming up. A lot of stables from both players. And I'm not sure if, uh, if Cavalier was the right decision. Throws against the lead skirmish is very good, but uh, for now Pike is fighting under his castle and we see the light cave upgrade now and gold shaft mining for, for Vodka, Pike doing blade barding armor, so he's gonna have a plus four on the light cave here and Pike should click Hussar in my opinion because he's gonna need them, he did that right now, yep, we saw the 600 gold being dropped here, a lot of traps for uh, for Pike in play actually, that's five traps and the one from Vodka will go down really fast. Uh, the cavalry moving towards the traps now, but yeah, uh, Vodka has to go back. He lost a lot of sea traps here, trying to get a few buildings down. But uh, Pike right now looking really good. Vodka with a lot more military units at this point, and both on roughly 140 villagers. Vodka sending villagers now. Where are they going? What is it planning to do? Uh, I don't see any buildings being put up, and maybe he wants to go for the extra resources, which are already being taken by by Pike here, and Pike can see the villagers. Of course, Vodka is sending. Um, his army forward, uh, but Pike really, really fast walling, and he is uh, he's walled the gold now. Very smart play for him, and also walling the stone mines. Very good. Castle coming up for for Vodka here. I'm not sure if about the position. Maybe should have gone for the extra resources here and try to get them them down. And for now, Pike with a good amount of siege rams on the front here, a few elite skirmishers, but Hassar is done, uh, only missing the attack upgrades, also help deer coming in for Pike. And both players are fully upgrading their armies. Sadly, I can't go any faster here, but love to, to accelerate this a little bit. Archer range coming on the right hand side for Vodka, and not sure where those villages are going. And still a big fight in the middle, cavalier elite skirmishers, a uh, few help deers in play, Hassar for Pike, siege rams in the middle. And still nobody is getting any ground. Pike still in a score lead. 
but it's not really uh, that big of a difference here in play. And also with the gold, I think that's pretty even. Now Vodka even has the advantage that he has got four relics inside, and Pike still hasn't gone for the one he could get. Now the castle coming up for Bi Pike, that's a very good position in my opinion, because he's gonna um, uh, strengthen his position on the forward here on the front. Um, Pike not going for the gold yet. He might uh, decide to just wall this and go for the gold uh, later on. A few gold miners. Vodka now doing Hussar and Blast Furnace. And we're gonna have the fully upgraded uh, units for both players. Oh, Pike should go for plus four on the Halberdier for sure. And the Elite Skirmish is not uh, fully upgraded either. Uh, and he Pike got the resources to do it actually. Um, but with a lot of fighting going on with a lot of sea trams now for Pike. Well, that's 10 sea trams at least. It's, uh, now it's 10. Uh, he's got a really, really good position here. Another castle coming up for Pike as well on the front. And looks like uh, Vodka is losing a lot of army now. Only 30 military units left. Pike with a very good position here. A lot of halberdiers in play. The lead skirmishers going down to the hussars. And the sea trams tearing down a lot of buildings. This might be the GG actually. Pike now with a really, really big advantage, and yeah, Vodka calling GG here. Suddenly Pike with a really, really hu huge push, while Vodka maybe was concentrating on the right hand side a little bit. And he lost all his army, didn't have enough sea trams to be able to compete here. And Pike with a um, uh, very good game here, very smart play, using his map, and then being patient, getting enough army out and upgrading the army to be able to yeah, outmass Vodka here. Vodka losing one big fight here at the end, and uh, Pike with a very nice castle position. <laughs> only now going for the gold but he could do it now and very very nice victory now just FYI Vodka actually won the first series three against two uh, the Hans were uh, he was winning that and uh, it's like a destiny uh, uh, was I don't know how you call it but Destiny worked here, and we have a Hans for in game 5 again, and it's going to Pike this time. Oh, Pike with a little bit better map in my opinion, and Vodka trying his best, uh, moving it towards late Imperial Age, but uh, Pike with a very, very good performance now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these games, I really like them, really interesting to see, the Hans for was amazing in my opinion, and see ya in the next games, in the next series. GG.